If you're like most guys, you think you're stylish, you think you're killing it, and then a few years later, you look back at the pictures and like, what the hell was I wearing? This happens when you dress in trends. Things are cool one minute and they're not cool the next. This reminds me of a conversation I had a long time ago with one of my mentors. He said, the best style is timeless. He said, I like to dress in a way that if you took a picture of me and you put it in black and white, you wouldn't be able to tell which year or which era I'm in. And I was thinking about that, like, is that even possible? Style by nature is trendy. You can't be cool forever. But after doing some research, it turns out you can be cool forever. In fact, some of the most stylish people of all time, they were cool then, they'd be cool today, and they'll be cool 100 years from now. Take a look at this guy, for example. This is Paul Newman. Every single one of these outfits is stylish. It was stylish then, it'd be stylish today, and long after I'm gone, it'd still be considered cool. Same thing goes for Steve McQueen. Look at all these outfits. Tell me which one of these you couldn't wear today and be the best dressed guy around. And here's Muhammad Ali, the greatest. Tell me which one of these is not cool today. That's Miles Davis. That's Dr. J. Look at these outfits. They're timeless. It just proves that classic menswear really is classic. There's no logos. There's no trends. This is the opposite of fast fashion or designer clothing. Like, I know a young kid trying to be cool. He spent all of his money on a bomber jacket that says Givenchy on the back. And then two years later, Givenchy was out. It was all about Balenciaga. So what does he do? He goes out and buys a bomber jacket that says Balenciaga on the back. Turns out those guys have a little pedophile streak to them, so now he's embarrassed to wear it. It just goes to show you that when you wear trends or logos, you're kind of captive to the brand, and you're stuck in a moment in time. Thankfully, I learned this lesson early, and I've only been wearing classic clothing. That's why I've been wearing the same clothes for 15 years. It's also why I can create so many of these videos. I'm sitting on thousands of photos shot by Alex Crawford, the GOAT, look him up. And all these photos, all these looks, they're timeless. They're as cool today as they were when we shot them, and I'd wager they'll be cool 10 years from now. Just take the video we did on green suits, for example. This photo's from 2016. This one's from 2014, and this one's from 2017. The point is, it doesn't matter. It's never going out of style. To prove my point even further, this is me on the Today Show in 2009 after winning Esquire Magazine's Best Dressed Man in America. Now let's take a look at the photos that I submitted for that contest. Here's me that year in my dorm room, wearing a tweed jacket and a rugby shirt. Now I might not wear all these items together, I'm a little thick for that combo, but I'd wear each of these pieces still. Here I am walking down the Columbia steps in a gray, slim, not skinny suit with a cardigan and an open Oxford shirt. All items I'd still wear. Now, I'm not much of an ascot guy anymore, but I'd certainly still wear a navy blue cashmere top coat, a cricket sweater, an Oxford shirt, and gray flannel trousers. And I'm not fully sure I could still clear a parking meter, but I'd still wear a brown cotton suit, a cardigan, and some classic Jack Purcell sneakers. This is what I try to help my customers achieve. Timeless style. It doesn't go in or out. You don't have to cringe when you look back at old photos. And if all goes well and you stay in shape, you can wear these clothes long until you're an old man and you look like this. Still got it. Hopefully on my yacht somewhere by this time. And don't ever get it twisted, I'm still giving you buckets.